so it is post brew fest. Um, we are definitely just going to check out another beer real quick. Uh, you said somebody brought this back from Canada? Yeah, one of my friends that I've known for years. He uh, has family out in Nova Scotia, Canada. And he was kind enough to, after a two-year hiatus, not being able to go there due to COVID, uh, yeah. he came back bearing gifts. Nice. So I figured what better person to share them with than the Mighty Plantain. Big thank you for that. Glad you were thinking of me. I really appreciate that. But yeah, we got Alexander Keith's IPA from Nova Scotia, the pride of Nova Scotia. Looks like we're at 5.8, 5.6? 5.0. 5.0% And I don't see IBUs on here, but that's all right. We can look it up afterwards. We can do it metric. <laughs> well, 355 <laughs> milliliters. We've got a beer in milliliters. Um, so yeah, we're going to check this out and then I'm going to check on Ben T. Buddy, we told you the 99 party bucket was a bad idea. Didn't you see the fucking video? We told you to just walk away when you couldn't open it, but you couldn't listen. I get the message like, Hey buddy, how do you open this thing? My fingers are bleeding. Put it Just down. Don't. Walk away. <laughs> don't. It's a bad idea. So I'm going to check on you and make sure you're still alive. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we're going to have a beer. Yeah. This is what? Post Sea Dog time. Yep. Sea Dog is always a great hit after a Bangor brew fest because it's within stumbling distance and they have good beer and good food there. And, you know, usually good friends. Boosh had to bow out for this one. I'm going to keep harping on that because he's an inconsiderate bastard. But at least he kept all of his toes this time. This time. So far. <laughs> so, uh, my friend described this to me is, because, I mean, he's had it many times. Uh, he said that it's an IPA, but it almost has the taste more of, like, a Sam Adams Boston lager. Really? But the color of it looks not really like it. There's not much of a head on it. Um... It's quite clear. Not, yep. not, not too effervescent. We're going to bring the light up coaster this time, but that's all right. We can get some decent light through it. Your place is a little brighter than mine. But yeah, it does look pretty light. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. Hmm. But well, it's an IPA. A Canadian IPA. Canadian IPA. IPA? <laughs> <laughs> From Nova Scotia. <laughs> that's Trailer Park Boys territory. It is. Days. But yeah, there's not much of an aroma coming. No, out. it's very, very neutral, like, pale, bland. Not a lot of effervescence to it. Yeah, it's not much coming off of that. So that's cool. But I mean, it could go either way. All right, let's go for it. It's got a nice medium light mouthfeel. There's some body to it. It's very mellow. Mm -hmm. Very mellow. Not like anything really. Punching you in the face. It's not like your standard IPA. Um, it's not very hoppy. No. But there is some complexity to it. I'm mm -hmm. getting a decent malt profile. It's got a nice backbone. Mm -hmm. And there's a hint of bitterness. There. On the back end. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting a little bit of sweetness too. Yeah. I can see where he's comparing this to the Boston Lager. Because it has that nice malty, slightly mm -hmm. hoppy... I think the Sammy Boston has like a a much more smooth finish, where this one's more rough around the edges. Yeah, and it's not as robust. No, I mean you look at the color and see this just looks like a normal lager more than anything uh, Sammy would put out. Other than that seventy six that we all know you love. God. Yeah, thank God. Wicked Easy is what they're rebranding it as. So many people at the Brewfest didn't know that. They're like, "Oh, Wicked Easy is that new?" Like, no. <laughs> Not at all. It's been around for a while. <laughs> it's been shoved down your throats for the last, like, year and a half. We got it out of the variety packs. Thank God. Amen. No, they just rebranded it. That's okay. It it can it can exist. I don't have any... It just doesn't need to beer. be in certain brew uh, packs. I might even buy it once in a while, but... I won't. Not be enforced to as a <laughs> bonus. But, oh, this is pretty... It, it's crisp and refreshing. It's... Fairly light, but it has that slightly complex flavor that that, that something like a Sammy Boston would have. Mm -hmm. um, I'm liking it. I think this would be better average on a warmer day. Yeah. Um, today's actually fairly warm, but when we were out under the hot sun earlier, this would have been 
probably perfect. Mm -hmm. just sat around and tucked away a 12 pack of these each. <laughs> no doubt. I mean, they go down smooth. Uh, they're not heavy duty. Uh, you don't feel like beer log after you've had one to many mm -hmm. if, if you're playing your cards right. Yeah. I'm going to hit this with a three and a half out of five. Um, two and a half on a scale of one to five is average. The reason it's getting some extra points is basically that, that drinkability mm -hmm. and the fact that I can see myself continuously tucking into this. And I've got nothing negative to say about it. It's not blowing me away. It's not giving it's me It's middle of the road. I would give it a three. Mm -hmm. it, it's nothing blow your mind. It's not subpar. It's right on the line of average. Mm -hmm. uh, I would pick this over uh, most beers if I were to drink many on a hot day. Mm -hmm. If I were drinking on a, a fall night, this wouldn't be the one I would go for. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't turn it down either. No, absolutely not. I mean, I could see myself drinking this around a nice fire too. So, mm -hmm. But again, it wouldn't be the first choice. So I'd look for something no. more like flannel but Friday it, from Harpoon or... I think it was uh, a good share from our neighbors oh, to the yeah. north, where we don't so we seldom get that opportunity. So mm -hmm. thank you to my friend Gene, appreciate hey, it. Thanks, man. Definitely appreciate. It. Keep them coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never want to turn down a free beer. Yeah, I'm um, shameless in that regard. No doubt, but uh, <laughs> not bad overall. I would definitely hit it with a three. Uh, I would say Boo should probably hit it similar to what we did because yeah. he's got a similar taste that we have. Yeah, he's going to be right in that same category. Yeah, depending on how many beers he's had prior. Post Brewfest, this would have been a, a five or a six because <laughs> he gets pretty enthusiastic. Yeah, well, it's that inner disgruntled Canadian log truck driver that you oh get going God. on. Yes, that's his fuel. Mm hmm. Just needs that backwards hat. <laughs> And we know he's usually leaving a few logs behind where he goes. <laughs> that's another story. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so, yeah, here, thanks again, Gene. Big thanks to you yep. for sharing this. And um, thanks for you guys for tuning in. Make sure to hit us up down below with a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, fucking cheers, man. Peace hey. out. Hey. There we go. And emptied in honor of Bush. Get well soon, buddy. Burp. We miss you.